I'm Justin Roberts, Critical Care Consultant at East Lancashire Hospitals and as part of our Fluid Stewardship Education films we're going to look at fluid resuscitation. Resuscitation with fluids means using fluids to correct shock that has occurred as a result of low blood volume or hypovolemia. It is important to identify the cause as a condition such as haemorrhage may require blood replacement. We have introduced the Blipit Meds mobile app to help choose the right fluid and volume for the given indication. Well, firstly, assess the patient's fluid and electrolyte needs using the A, B, C, D, E approach to determine if the patient is hypovolemic and needs fluid resuscitation. Then, a clinical examination of the patient's fluid status, including pulse, blood pressure, capillary refill, and jugular venous pressure, the presence of pulmonary or peripheral edema, and the presence of postural hypotension. If the patient is hypovolemic, use a crystalloid solution that contains a sodium in the range of 130 to 154 millimoles per litre. This would typically be 250 to 500 mils of plasmolite over less than 15 minutes. Once it's been given, you must reassess using the A, B, C, D, E approach. Use 250 mils in people with a history of congestive cardiac failure, chronic kidney disease, and anyone who weighs less than 50 kilos. Be prepared to monitor the person regularly and following each bolus dose, reassess them. And finally, a couple of caveats. If you've given more than two litres of resuscitation fluid in a 24 hour period, then you should get an opinion from a senior decision maker as to what the next steps are. At this stage, you may need input from the acute care team or the critical care team. And now thank you for watching and go and be good fluid stewards.